So I just um, did my placement match in Wings of Liberty because Hots is down. And I played against a goal level player. Because I haven't played in a while, so I haven't. This is just my um, placement match. He is a pretty good gold. He's played a significant number of matches. 22. He is pretty high, not super high, but he's pretty high gold. And we're going to watch the replay. If I can remember where the replay buttons are. Ah, okay. Here we go. So it's a TVZ. And I was watching uh, Bomber Style. And Bomber generally is a macro zer, a macro Terran, meaning he builds a bunch of bases and is constantly producing units to no end until he basically pounds the Zerg into submission. So I'm going to go macro here, and uh, two things can happen: the Zerg can spot it, or the Zerg cannot spot it. Usually, when they spot it, they go for some kind of massive roach push or a baneling bust with Zergling follow up. If they don't spot it, um, they might do those two things anyway. But if they don't spot it, they're more likely to go to their own macro play, get their second base or their third. This guy is already going for gas, as I just found out. So it's pretty clear that this Zerg will definitely be doing some kind of aggression, which is actually not great for my build, unless I can hold. Once I hold, I pretty much have it. So, got my command center going, my barracks, and then my two gases. And the Zerg is going for a second gas and speed. So he wants Zergling speed. And he looks up. Now he sees what I'm doing. Sees everything he needs. And Baneling. So he's going to offer the Baneling Bust, which I generally know. And the way I know is because he's going to attack that guy and send a shit ton of Zerglings. So I need to have a wall in, and then I need to have a secondary wall in, because this group of Zerglings is going to actually mostly turn into Banelings and try to crush me with a few Zerglings to come up after. If you look at the Income tab, we're even on Income, but I've got my Orbital coming, a second Orbital coming. So, as a result, I build double eBay and another bunker. This is pretty solid. So I've got a command center, it's 1500 health, supply depot, bunker, double eBay, bunker. It's a pretty tough wall to crack, but he's going to try. And he's making a couple more drones. He's still got guys on gas, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boom, it's down. Bunker is a little bit hurt, but fine. So now it's a question of rebuilding. So he's going to make more banes, and I'm going to make more of everything else. So I'm basically repairing this. And I also need to get one of those guys in there, which I think I'm having trouble doing. But I've got tanks on the way. Siege mode and then a tank. So I want to pop this guy out. He got the banes ready. I think he wants more Zerglings to come too. I think he needs to wait. Yep, there they are. So now I'm going to build that um, Supply Depot again. It's mainly just a third layer of wall. One, two, three. This is a hard thing to kill. It's a thousand. Yeah, this is 400, 400, so it's easier to come through here. But um, either way, I've got the double bunker. So if he does go through here, I can just pull everything over to the bunker temporarily and keep it. Uh, this guy is stuck there. And I think he's going to do another push. Let's take a look. Okay, so that was really clever. So what I did was, I realized he's got another Bane bus coming. So what I'm going to do is when this is done, I'm going to send my SCV out to hit those Banes and kill as many as I can. Because it's really much better for him to kill those. Two down. So that's two, four, six. It's six instead of eight. Pretty helpful. I'm sure he's annoyed at that. So, send this guy. Okay. They just got that first one down again, and he's going to go and remake again. 
Going seven more banes. If it didn't work the first time, do it another time. He's going to try to kill my command center, which he's getting pretty close. But problem is I got tons of stuff here. And siege tank. Siege mode up. Boom! Goes the dead knight. <laughs> and very little damage done. I think I'm going to repair this in time. Make another supply depot. And then the unit lost tab. He's lost 2,000. I've lost 450. I have not been SC. I've been up. Uh, I've been supply block for a while. Okay, so I should need. I should be making double double uh, supply depot when I know that I'm taking some damage. Accidental planetary fortress. Let's just say this was not the best game I've played, but I'm still incredibly ahead. He's just getting his second hatch out. Again, I'm in pretty good shape. I've got a good number of harvesters. I've got tech. I've got gas. He basically is trying to drone up, which he does pretty well. Good transition. If I had been working properly this whole time, I would have had all these SCVs, so I would have had another 15 to 20 SCVs. That was a mistake on my part, but well, I can't fix it in the past, so I'm moving forward. So at this point, my goal is to get back on top of those SCVs because I really need good macro here start to get my upgrades so I want stim I want plus one plus one I eventually want combat shields there they are I want to take my expansion and I want to send all my guys there but because this is a planetary <laughs> oh my god it's so funny that I put a planetary there um, I'm going to have to make another expansion so moving right along our incomes are pretty close my tech is way higher so basically I just need to prevent him from uh, mass expanding, which I'm going to do in a second. And sacrifice those. Uh, a little bit late on my command center. Static defense. He wants to know what's going on. So, mutas. Okay. Let me just step back for a second. Uh, I knew this muta was coming. I did a scan and saw it. But the other, I knew even before the scan, that was just confirmation, because it's the only thing he can do. He can't harass me anymore. He has to tech up to uh, a much higher hive tech kind of army. Um, he knows that roaches will do nothing against it. So mutas is the only way. So as a result, I got two turrets, three turrets, four turrets, and here we go. He gets one turret, cannot do much to my supply line. Just throw down another turret just in case. He gets that depot. Throw down another turret. And tries to stop that turret, gets hit, tries to come down here, turret. And he's going to have to go away. He could get these tanks, but I got a couple guys in there. And the rest of the turrets go down. This is kind of just a harass to keep me busy, but I wasn't even focused on it this whole time. I've been focused on plus one attack, getting another command center, getting another turret just in case he masses some more mutas. A little bit high on the muta defense, didn't need all this, but... Fundamentally, those extra three or 400 minerals means I don't even have to look at this. So you look at what I'm doing. I'm not concerned with these mutas. These mutas keep harassing. I don't care. I've got other stuff going on. So it looks like he's trying to get up to infestor tech. And that's a good thing for him. But I'm going to continue my supply depots, continue my macro. And we're pretty close. Basically 50 to 50. And I've got two mules. And i got three command centers. So I'm in really good shape. And I believe I decided it's time to push out. Plus two, plus two, and combat shields on the way. Uh, Mutas kill a guy. And here we go. They're trying to take out my gas. But you know what? I got plenty of gas. Not a big deal. Throw another turret down just in case. See this expansion? I'm going to stop it. Again, I'm not really worried about this. He's got really nothing going on. One Zergling. Mm, not a big deal. I should have just killed that with a couple ICVs, but I wait. I'm more focused on this push. Key here is to keep my Marines coming, which is my meat shield. Plus one, plus one combat shield is on the way. And then in about five seconds, all those tanks are going to do some massive damage. Combat shield, boom. All my Marines get a little bit stronger. So now I just got to step my guys in little by little. 
uh, basically just realize what's going on here and decide to kill that thing. Siege up on the high ground, keep those other guys in the low ground, I know they're coming in. And go. Here are the roaches. Got some splash damage from the back coming in. Don't think he even got a tank. No, he did not. Hatch goes down. See some mutas coming. Gets one tank. The rest of his mutas are gone. In the unit tab, he has 29 roaches. That is all. So basically, if I just protect my tanks, I'm going to do some massive damage. Here they come. Should have had some better protection. Gets two tanks. But I still have a bunch more. More roaches. Gets another tank. So nicely done. Pushing up here. A lot more roaches. Somehow those guys got pushed back. That was a mistake. And he's going to get that last tank with all these roaches. Uh, he had another hatch. Wow, a lot of macro hatches. So going back to the units cab, kill tab, it's almost 3 to 1. I'm 3 to 1 efficient here. And considering that I've got just as many SCVs, uh, pretty good shape. My production is going to be pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push in again. He's going to build his other hatch. So he's got five hatches. One, two, three, four, five. And he's going for ultralisks and missile attack for the roaches. So he's going to do a roach ultra push. But I've got another push coming. And I'm getting my supply up quicker than him because I'm getting a series of tanks, marines. And I think I'm going to start doing medevacs. I kind of got a little slow on the medevacs. So throw one guy out. Sees the attack. Pull back. Siege up. And I'm going to inch forward really slow. Because this force, I kind of didn't trade as efficiently as I could have earlier. I was very efficient, but I still let a couple of my tanks get hit. Um, because he had roaches coming from two ways. Uh, I'm going to be extra cautious. Put my meat shield out front. Get plus three, plus three. More tanks. Sieging up. This, this is a better position for me. I don't think the really roaches are going to do much damage from there. And if any roaches come out from here, I'll see them. Sieging up little by little. Another hatch down. He's got two ultras popping, which is a, a four ultras popping, which is a significant amount. So the key here is to have my marines take out those ultras and not get squashed. Here it comes. Queen, ultra. I think I start to one down. I think I start to micro my guys against this. And on his units tab, he's got 24 larvae, but he decides he cannot hold this anymore. GG. 160 to 60. So roughly almost three, two to three times uh, my unit effectiveness, which is kind of what you need in this kind of a push, as well as a little bit better macro. Um, yeah, so that is a Wings of Liberty macro Terran strategy versus a Zerg Bane bust with a little bit of other stuff here and there. All right, let's jump out of game. Take a quick look at the breakdown of the game. Got me into Gold League, which is nice. And so, army value, it takes a tank with the Bane Bust, pushes up with the roaches, I hit that hard, pushes up again with a lot more roaches, and I crush it. And he starts to rebuild little by little, but I A didn't take as much of a hit, and B kept going. And also this is a lot of larvae, a lot of minerals. You know, he just he didn't ever really get the third base up. He had it up for uh, production purposes, but not much for mining. Resource collection. So I didn't do as well as I could have here. He out resourced me, and there was a few mistakes on my part early in the game, which had a 
big impact going forward. If I had had a bigger spike here, a second orbital, third orbital instead of that planetary, I would have pushed up pretty big here and got my second base up, my third base would have made a big difference. But still, I was trading so efficiently and constantly knew what was coming at me, I was able to, to win. But ultimately, I want this to go up, 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 up.